Thank you for joining me once again in another tutorial video of science. This is your tutor, the science guru, Mr. Mugiana. Come with me as we learn another interesting topic in physics. So, in today's topic, we are looking at simple machines. You know that a machine is a device used to make work easy. So, anything that is going to make your work easy is called a machine. Yeah? Now, we are looking at how to find the ideal pulley system. How do you handle an ideal pulley system? When a machine is ideal, what we mean is this. When the machine is ideal, we mean that that machine is 100% efficiency. Are we okay? Just like this. Now, for an ideal machine, I want you to take note of this. For an ideal machine, the mechanical advantage is equal to the velocity ratio. So, we can have examination sample. Examination sample. Let's say, yeah, so one. The diagram below shows an ideal symbol or machine. Yeah. So my diagram is this. So these are important questions in the exam. This is my diagram. Saying that. So this is my diagram. I hope you can see. Yeah. This is for your exam. Yeah. Follow, follow me well. I have those things. Then, let's say I've got a 45 here. 45, 45 Newton. Or let me just put, um, let me put, I've got a 3 kg here. Do you get that? 3 kg. Then, I tend to say, find the effort E of the machine. So we are trying to find the effort E of the machine. So how do you find the effort E of the machine? I want you to take note of this. When you are dealing with the simple machines, the formulas that I want you to take note of, we, we, this formula for mechanical advantage is equal to load over effort. We've got the velocity ratio is equal to distance moved by effort over the distance moved by the load. Then we've got uh, the efficiency given by mechanical advantage over VR times 100%. So now we are finding the effort E. I work in effort E. Remember that effort is measured in newtons. Yeah? So you just find a connection. Which formula can you use among the three that has got an effort? It is this first formula. So you say, okay, I'm going to say that M, you say mechanical advantage, you say that mechanical advantage is equal to the load over effort. Now, how do you find the mechanical advantage? You say data, collect your data. So mechanical advantage of a pulley system, how do you find it? For as long as it's an ideal machine, you just count the number of wheels. One, two, three. Mostly, people, they say, count the number of strings. But with students, mostly make mistakes when counting strings. So I encourage them, excuse me, you count the number of wheels. One, two, three. So my kind of advantage is equal to three. I've got my load. My load is given as three kg. Now, remember that. Load, the SI units for load are newtons. So you need to convert this 3 kg into newtons. And you say weight is equal to mass times gravitation. So my, my mass it is 3 kg 
and the gravitation, which is 10 meters per second. Yeah. Square. Then I multiply. This time is that going to give me 330 newton. Okay. Now that I have I have this, I have this, I can now find the effort. I say what is my the mechanical advantage? The mechanical advantage it is three. What is the load? It is 30. And what is the effort? It is uh, E. I multiply. 3 times E to give me 3 E is equal to 30. Over 3 over 3. Cancel that, cancel that. My E becomes 10 newtons. Just like that. Simple. Just like that. Yeah, so this is how you find uh, the effort of an ideal simple machine. Please like the page, follow the page for more lessons. This has been your tutor, the science guru, Mr. Mubiana. Remember that you can also join our lessons through the WhatsApp group. Just comment your line, we are going to add you in the group. Yeah, thank you, take care.